Hi. Good morning. Oh, it's early. Very early. Yeah, it's almost two o'clock. Hi. I thought I'd just check in tonight. Uh, I had a few things go wrong in the past couple of weeks. I haven't been here. Yeah. Uh, my granddaughter's mother passed away, 48 years old. And uh, it's been tough. But besides that, I was not watching what I was eating. I was doing that thing that I said on my last video. Uh, you get frustrated and you crave, well, I crave food and that kind of a crisis. And I put on eight pounds and, oh, I hate myself for it. But what the heck. We all have our days, right? Unfortunately, mine were eight pounds. <laughs> of days. But that's okay. Starting tomorrow morning, which is Monday, I'm going to start counting every point that goes into my body, everything I eat and drink, and just keep going. I've already lost a hundred and uh, five pounds. And uh, I intend to keep going, no matter what. But I've decided, again, I have another decision, I know. But I've decided to go a pound a week. That's all. A pound a week. If I get two pounds or three pounds in a week, I will be most happy. But I figure I'm tired of sitting around thinking about every single meal I'm going to have. So I'm going to count some points in the morning and that's it. I'll know in the morning what I'm having all day and I won't have to worry about food for the rest of the day. I have all that precious time to spend with my granddaughter uh, to enjoy some television to make some tapes, say hi to all of you, and to keep myself a little bit busy, maybe even go for a couple of walks. But besides all that, uh, let's go back to the pound a week. Just think, in 52 weeks, losing a pound a week, that's 52 pounds. That's a mighty chunk to be taken out of one's body. I started out at 368, and now I'm 263. Yeah, bad girl I was. But I'm glad I stopped and realized what I was doing. Yeah, but now let's go back to that other number again, that one pound. If you can lose one pound a week, you lose 52 pounds in a year. Now, there will be weeks where you might lose three or four. So if you did that three times out of the year, you come up with, uh, what is it, 52 and nine is 61 pounds. But if you don't lose two or three pounds in a week, you don't feel bad because your goal was one pound. And I'm sure you can handle that. One pound a week. If you make a mistake and have that, uh, let's say, chocolate brownie, mm, you can make up for that by not eating any more sweets for the week. Because that boy is a lot of points. It surely is. So, if you have that one, you just cut down the rest of the sweets for the week. Mm -hmm. Do it out dessert twice. That sounds good. And it's not painful. That's the fun part. It's not painful if you're only looking for a pound a week. And like I said, on the weeks that you lose more, you will feel lighter than a feather. 
when you get on that scale. Oh, you'll be so proud of yourself. You might even push it to two pounds a week, but pushing it to two pounds, if you don't lose it, you'll get discovered. So I'd stick with the one pound a week and work on it from there. I sure would. I think we all take too much time out of our lives to think about food and what we're going to eat. So when you get up in the morning, that's the time to say, okay, this is what I'm eating today. Real quick, plan it out, write it on a piece of paper, and don't eat any more or less. But then you don't have to worry about the rest of the day. What is it you got to eat? What am I going to eat? When am I going to eat it? It's nice if you can eat before 6 o'clock. That's a helpful hint. Because when you eat after 6, the weight stagnates in your body and uh, it stays there. But from 6 until about 9 or 10 when you're up, you're still up and down and doing whatever it is that you do between those hours or maybe go for a walk or maybe the bathroom is far away from where you're sitting, you can use that as a wall. Any one of those things. But uh, tonight is just high. I had to tell you that I gained the weight, because I tell you when I lose it, so I figure it's only fair to tell you when I gained it, but why I gained it. Uh, I'm not going to be on long, I'm getting off in a minute. Uh, I love all of you, I've missed talking to you. And uh, I'm glad I'm back. And don't forget my email. Fat, fat, fat mama at yahoo.com. Love you. Think then. Have good days and God bless.